Hi, my name is Abby Andrus and I am a senior at Mount Shasta High School. After educating myself about what a cooperative is, I realized that most of us are very familiar with co-ops. Learning about cooperatives brought back memories of being a child when I joined my friends and siblings to create a lemonade stand on a hot summer day. One of my friends would make a sign, another would make cookies, and I would come with the lemonade. We would work together setting up the stand and my younger siblings were very happy to carry around the signs to advertise. After a few hours of combined work and selling, we would clean up together and each take a share of our profits at the end of the day. Co-ops are, su are such a natural and rewarding way to run a business that even children choose to work in such a manner. In contrast, many businesses today stray away from this model for reasons such as wanting to mass merchandise or to gain a higher cut of the profit for themselves or because of a desire to personally control most of the company. While these desires may help a company to grow large and large and provide products for many people, it will often cause unhappiness and unfulfillment for its employees and may produce a product lower in quality. There are many positive economic impacts that cooperative business models have on communities. Unlike traditional profit-driven companies, cooperatives are value-driven and put the benefit of employees and community at the core of their purpose. According to a Gordon Nembard 2013 study, Cooperatives stabilize communities because they are community-based business anchors and distribute, recycle, and multiply local expertise and capital within a community. The Dem Democracy at Work Institute states, this model has proven to be an effective tool for creating and maintaining sustainable, dignified jobs, generating wealth, improving the tool, or excuse me, improving the quality of life of workers and promoting community and local economic development, particularly for people who lack access to business ownerships or even sustainable work options. Since a cooperative business is owned by its members, they are all rewarded when the business is successful. Owners value their employees and therefore treat their employees fairly. Workers are more likely to receive extensive skills training and receive higher wages. Workers have incentives for the business to be successful too. This motivates them to do their best and to remain working at the business which provides the cooperative with successful and experienced workers. Cooperatives not only have a positive economic impact, but they also have a social impact on communities. According to the Democracy at Work Institute, more than half of worker cooperatives in the US today were designed to improve low wage jobs and build wealth in communities most, most directly affected by inequality, helping vulnerable workers build skills and earning potential. Co-op businesses also take interest in their communities and donate to charitable causes, 44% more than conventional businesses. They pay their employees fairly and use sustainable practices, which is better for our communities and the environment. I am currently the Associated Student Body Vice President of Mount Shasta High School. I can see that by following a co-op business model, we find the most success and provide the greatest experience for all students at our school. Prom, homecoming, student store, pep rallies, blood drives, concessions, spirit wear, bear stops, and all events at our school don't just happen. There is a whole team behind everything that goes on at Mount Shasta High School. My leadership con class consists of about 30 students, including five members of the executive council, class presidents and vice presidents, a public relations crew, and groups in charge of student store, concessions, and athletics, along with helping hands. Just as a co-op is a business owned and operated for the benefit of its members, our leadership group identifies unmet needs that would enhance our student body and makes them happen. As with a co-op, we examine the cost of activities, study their feasibility, and explore financing or fundraising opportunities. We consider that all student body members should hold shares in our cooperative organization. Also similar to a co-op, our school activities are managed by an elective directorial board of which I am a member. Similar to the way co-ops invest what they make back into the community, its workers, and its stores, the leadership class uses all of its profits towards making the high school experience better for students, staff, and community. Being involved with leadership has given me the opportunity to create an experience that students will cherish, trust, and want to come back to. We value the opinions, thoughts, and experiences of our students, just as Grange Co-op does for its customers. 
there is a lot of work that goes into all we do, but with the team that gives us the, the ability to succeed and the passion and dedication it takes to try, we have experienced how things that seem like a lot of work can be accomplished. We have had amazing successes and our cooperative structure allows us to provide a quality product for a tremendous value. In this way, our student body experiences the same synergy of a co-op. The sum of our individual efforts is far succeeded by our cooperative achievement. Thank you.